Hello everybody, we are here to give you a brief summary of our recently published review on fragment-based drug discovery. The glamour of fragments is evident during the early phase of a drug discovery project, where a better sampling of chemical space may allow a high success rate. Indeed, given that the chemical space of drug-like molecules is estimated around 10 to the power of 60 compounds, if we screen a million of molecules, such space is inefficiently explored, like looking for a needle in a haystack. Being the fragment universe smaller, the evaluation of 1000 compounds allows a better sampling of the chemical space, making the haystack smaller and resulting in higher it rates. Fragment hits interact weakly with the target, so the detection of a binding event is strictly related to the sensitivity of the user assay. A number of biophysical techniques originally developed to address other issues have been turned into screening tools. X-ray crystallography, SPR, NMR, and mass spectroscopy or chromatography are the screening approaches most commonly used when dealing with fragments. They are reviewed in our article together with their recent applications. Once fragment hits are identified, they have to be ranked and then optimized. Several metrics have been proposed and are discussed in the review, while three main strategies are adopted to evolve fragments. Let's try to imagine a protein, with a binding site large enough to host two or more binding fragments in turn, is covered by independent rounds of screening. Once found, the best pair is linked, resulting in a tighter binder in the linking strategy. In the merging strategy, two fragments that lay with a similar binding mode can be mixed in a new compound that contains all the key binding features. In the last strategy, the heat compound is grown within the binding site to reach additive and high-quality interactions. In conclusion, it is worth mentioning the drug discovery case of Vemurafenib, a beta raf inhibitor approved for the treatment of melanoma. It indeed represents the first case in which a fragment is evolved into a marketed drug. The drug discovery project started with an high concentration screening in which 20,000 compounds were tested against a panel of beta raf related kinases. The most interesting derivatives were co-crystallized, identifying the Hazendol fragment 19, which was evolved in 191 by adding an additional phenyl ring, allowing the molecule to adopt a unique binding mode, increasing the potency at the same time. Subsequently, a library was synthesized and screened against 70 kinases, including wild-type and mutated beta-raf, leading to bevorafenib and its approval in 2011. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy reading our review.